Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Our today's topic is Law of Conservation of Mass. Now the introduction. The Law of Conservation of Mass dates from Antony Lavoisier's 1789. Discovery that statement. Mass is neither created nor destroyed in chemical reactions. In other words, the mass of any one element at the beginning of a reaction will equal the mass of that element at the end of the reaction. Let's consider an example. In this chemical equation, we are observing that when CH4 reacts with oxygen, carbon dioxide and water will be formed. We can easily notice that in the reactant a molecule of CH4 reacts with two molecules of oxygen gas during combustion. After combustion a molecule of carbon dioxide and two molecules of water is formed. In this reaction, in the reactant, one carbon atom, four hydrogen and four oxygen are present. And in the product, one carbon, four hydrogen, and four oxygen are formed. The total mass of the reactant is exactly equal to the total mass of the product. Now let's move to another example. In this reaction, carbon react with oxygen during combustion and a molecule of carbon dioxide is formed. Reactants contain two substances. Reactants contain two substances that is carbon and a molecule of oxygen. The atomic mass of carbon is 12 and the atomic mass and the molecular mass of oxygen is 32. 32 plus 12 is equal to 44 and the total mass of the product is exactly equal to the total mass of the reactant. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz. Jazakallah.